Hello everyone, it's Sean. Welcome back to Having Fun Repairs. What we have here is a Garmin Alpha 100. Uh, it's a dog tracking device typically used by hunters. I believe it provides some training as well. But, uh, everything on this seems to be functional as far as like the touch display and stuff, but the screen itself is physically bad as you can see right here in the center. So, what we're going to do is just, uh, I'm going to take this apart and uh, see what the screen looks like once removed with the ribbon cable and everything. See if we can find a replacement for it. Let's see again. Turn it back off. There we go. Uh, it appears to me that we're really only doing, dealing with, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six screws, but uh, this might be a battery cover not entirely too sure there might be some hidden screws behind there but uh i'll go ahead and get these screws out and uh we'll follow up back up with all this here in a few minutes so yeah only those six screws needed to be removed i removed these two underneath this uh little rubber piece because it was i thought maybe that was holding it to there as well but no it's just this uh this uh weather stripping this blue thing that you see here it, it really makes it very tight fit so you really have to rock this clamshell back and forth to get it to get it off. So I guess that's used for waterproofing it, which means that we're going to, have to be very careful when we put back on the back side of that clamshell to make sure that everything is in the groove so we could try to keep it as water resistant as possible or waterproof. But uh yeah, as far as uh, getting the screen out, well, this looks like a ribbon cable that's going to the screen to the front, or maybe the digitizer, who knows. Um, I don't yet. But uh, in order to get this PCB out, this will have to get disconnected. And uh, most likely, I'll have to desolder the uh, antenna lead going to this an antenna that was screwed into the top here. That antenna screwed into the top. But that's the base of it, and you can see that coaxial cable coming down. Uh, and it's soldered to the base here and then most likely uh, whatever this is the probably the this is probably like a radio frequency antenna this is probably a GPS antenna I might have those reversed I'm assuming this one's GPS <clears throat> but this will probably just slide out of the housing once this is removed and that is detached and this whole board can slide out so that's what I'm gonna do and uh, hopefully it's going the way I think it will go but we'll find out here in a few seconds. All right, so it came out exactly like I thought it would. I had to desolder that antenna and then all the other, then the board was able to slide out. Yeah, I also have to remove this, but it looks like we got one, two, three, four more screws that uh, need to come on out and we should be able to remove the screen or at least this metal shield, we'll find out. And absolutely did come out. So the metal shield actually contains the LCD, but as you can tell with this ribbon cable, you got your LCD connector there and then the digitizer ribbon soldered to it. Digitizer sitting physically on the top. Uh, you could get the LCD alone through Alibaba. That's gonna take a while to come in. Uh, I'd much rather prefer to replace this with a uh, screen digitizer combo. Mine as well. Brand new part, screen, and touch entry. This one's rather scratched up as well. And then if there's like any burn in between the glue between the digitizer and the screen, well, all that will get corrected with one full assembly. So I'm going to let this uh, let this individual know that. Uh, let him know that that's, that's how I'd prefer to go ahead with it. So he's got a whole new screen, new digitizer, no burn in from the screen whatsoever. Because I imagine there's glue behind there, it's going to have to be completely removed and cleaned out. Um, it's typically what happens. It's not to say that, uh, you know, whatever calls that, I, I don't know. But that's not just the glue, that's going to be the LCD as well. So. As you saw, those those dots are completely dead. That liquid crystal is completely gone there. But you know, is what it is. Anyways, I'm rambling. Uh, I'm gonna let them know how much uh, it's gonna cost for the part and how much I'm gonna charge to replace. And if the individual says yes, then uh, we'll proceed with this repair. Well, um, unfortunately, the the customer didn't want to move forward with the repair, so 
I've, uh, I've buttoned it back up, got it all nice and sealed properly. And I uh, got also resoldered that antenna in there and uh, we'll be returning it to the customer. But uh, just one of those things, it is what it is. There's no hard feelings about it uh, whatsoever. It's just business, you know. And kind of leads me to cover a, a few things. Since we're just now getting set back up, I'm just now getting set back up. Uh, again, working out my, my father-in-law's shed until I get a, a place of my own and everything. And you know, when I on my website, when you go to the business side of things, you always see that repair attempt or whatever that fee is. You know, that's to cover this because if I'm gonna take time to take something apart, do research, have to actually work on the device, you know, I'm gonna be compensated for that uh, for two reasons. Uh, one, because I've been doing this for a long time and my time is valuable. And, uh, and, and two, uh, that, that fee is also there to kind of deter people to really think about, do I really want to uh, get this device repaired and commit to it? Now, obviously I don't charge the fee if I repair the device, that comes off, but it's just one of those things. Now, <clears throat> as far as what this was going to cost, uh, so this is discontinued. Um, I think the Alpha 200, Alpha 300 is the uh, current model. They run somewhere around seven or 800, I think. Uh, I know they're up there. The LCD uh, and digitizer combo is what I was going to go with and what I suggested because you'd have to desolder the ribbon cable from the uh, digitizer to the LCD. There's glue involved. There's all kinds of different things. It just makes sense to buy it as a combo. Uh, I found a good supply on it for uh, roughly 120 came to about 133 with tax, probably a bit, a bit more with shipping. Uh, and then char said I'd charge a labor fee on top of that. Nowhere north of, of uh, 200. Um, <clears throat> But, um, but the customers didn't ultimately didn't want to go with the repair. And that's fine. Again, no hard feelings. Anyways, so sorry there's no repair this go around. But this was actually a fun device for me to take apart. And now I know the inner workings of it. And I know I can get supplies for it in case somebody actually would like theirs repaired in the future. That being said, thanks for watching. Take care and goodbye. Mark?